Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about the radio and the TBM930 and look at some of its functions. So first of all, to access the panel, um, you need to come down here to Navcom, click on that, and that will bring you to this page. Okay, so a couple of things on the left. On the right, there's a keypad allowing you to change some of the figures. On the top left-hand corner, you have XPDR1 ident, that's the transponder ident. Um, what this function actually does in real life, um, it gives the air traffic controller um, a little signal. Um, what it actually does, it makes your blip flash on your radar screen, showing you point, pointing out, pointing your aircraft out to the controller. Okay, below that you have ALT and then some numbers, that is the transponder code. So to change that, click on it um, and then type in the code, make sure this is highlighted and you can change this to whatever and then click on enter and that would change. Um, altitude reporting um, is mode Charlie if you're familiar with that. Um, Vetsim. Now this doesn't work with VPilot, so better in mind, VPilot has its own Mode Charlie button, so make sure you have that set if you want to be identified by uh, Vetsim controllers. Um, but however, how this works in real life, it will, it will send your pressure altitude to the air traffic controller, confirming um, your confirming that your altitude is correct on their radar screen, um, and that allows them to separate you from other traffic. Um, on is just on and standby turns it off okay then below that you have audio and radios we'll talk about that in a sec that's to set um, your navcoms and your ADF uh, now two radios in the, on the TBM 930 Microsoft Flight Sim you have COM1 and COM2 if you want to change the frequency in COM1 click on standby that standby frequency is now highlighted in turquoise so let's say for instance I want to go to one um, Unicom 122.8 so 12280 click on transfer and that would um, shift the frequency across likewise for COM2 click on the standby frequency and then swap over uh, post update I, I do realize I'm not sure if this function was available before um, but if it is uh, I didn't realize it um, anyhow you can now select uh, you can choose either COM1 or COM2 and you can select other COM to use um, if you fly on VPilot if you're flying on VETSIM using VPilot and um, VPilot allows you to use two separate uh, COMs two separate radios you can now do that on the TBM so to select the radio that you want click on mic um, and then the, uh, the selected COM would uh, will be indicated here. So in this case, uh, one is selected and is also highlighted there. And if you want to select COM2, click, in it, click on it again and it'll say 2 with the arrow pointing down. Um, below that is the monitor function. So in this case, what's actually happening now is I'm talking. My microphone is hot on COM2, the active frequency, but I'm also listening to COM1. So how this is useful is that for instance, let's say um, if you have center tuned on COM1 and you have CTAF tuned on COM2 you can still talk to the traffic in the circuit pattern while listening out for um, um, for your call on um, on uh, on center okay. and likewise if you're doing it the other way around in this case I have COM1 selected and I'm monitoring COM2 right on the right is the um, no, um, notepad, the keypad. Sorry. Now we'll look at the audio and radio function. So click on that. This will allow you to change um, your nav frequency. So to, to scroll up and scroll down, you can either use the scroll buttons on the side, or you can click and drag. Uh, personally, I like to use the up and down button because it's a lot easier. Nav one selects um, your. Know, F1 radio so to change frequency just click on it the accurate frequency is on the top standby frequency is on the bottom click transfer um, and that would transfer the frequency over uh, likewise for nav2 um, com1 com2 mic these functions don't work um, however if you click on this part 
um, that allows you to change the, uh, the frequency but you could have already done that from the previous screen uh, speaker function doesn't work recorder function doesn't work the marker high sense the marker um, sensitivity does not work uh, 17 September 2020 the ADA function does work so for instance uh, if you want to change to something uh, let's say 0 uh, 1 5 or oh, 5 doesn't work Force. Uh, okay maybe that's too low of a frequency uh, 0 4 1 6 for instance okay then you click on transfer uh, it does bring you back to the nav page for some reason um, so if you made a mistake um, yeah you have to go back and then change it manually music function doesn't work click doesn't work and that those are the functions for your videos on the TBM 930 thank you I hope this helps and I'll see you later